Oh, hey you guys, sorry. Let's enjoy running my own course. Uh, let me find a better place to stand. Ah, uh, that's better. Anyway, this is the second episode of Tournament 14, and in the last episode, we saw the first 25 challengers attempt the first stage. After only four competitors clearing in the previous tournament, the stage was barely affected with only one obstacle being changed. The new first obstacle did deal some damage in the last episode, but for the most part, our competitors did improve. Certain competitors like iGameTypes, Duster 2K, Volcanic Crowd, and TrueJ were able to step up their game this time around, and all three who cleared stage 1 in the last episode failed the first stage in Tournament 13. Out of those three, Exhilaration was the first to clear and maintain the fastest time, and he was followed by I Spiteful and Eroreth. With these three already moving on to the second stage, today we will see the final 25 competitors attempt stage 1. With many top veterans competing today and all four who cleared stage 1 last time going, we are hoping to see a lot more clears in this episode, and anyone who clears will be going on to the second stage in the next episode. So let's get back to it and finish off stage 1 of Tournament 14. Kicking off this episode is a returning competitor. He competed back in Tournament 12 under the name Winless26, but he has changed his gamer tag for this tournament. Well, not for the tournament, but you know, he changed his gamer tag to Invisibrew. Last time he, uh, he failed the curtain slider by running into the side of it. Didn't really attempt the obstacle, but now he's on Tournament 14, Stage 1. First up is the Prism Tilt, and he's over it nicely. Next up is the X-Bridge. This didn't deal too much damage last time. He goes to the second pal. Oh, he shoots to the right, and he's off the X-Bridge. That's two second obstacle failures in a row for, uh, Invisibrew slash Windless 2. Anyway, next up to go, we've got Gold Urchin, 8085. This guy is also a returning competitor. Competed in Tournament 12 as well. Failed the first obstacle, however. So let's see how he does on this stage. Prism Tilt is first up. He jumps up it. And he goes down right across. Nicely done. Now for the X-Bridge. Invisibrew just failed it. He goes, oh, he lands in between the first and the second one. But he saves it. Nice. Fourth one. Sixth one. And he's off onto the pole maze. He's going to line it up. Nope. Didn't like that attempt apparently, and oh he gets it, he's right into the wall, but he's got it. Now he's got to navigate his way through the maze. Uh, I don't think he knows where to go, come on, there's a one way path. Turn the, whoa, what are you doing? You're wasting so much time right now, go, there you go, he figured it out. This is not looking good. He's down to 43 seconds, he's down to the jump hang Kai, can he do it? He jumps, oh where's he going? Oh no, that's not going to work. Oh, well, at least he improved upon his last run, but uh, I think it was hopeless after that full maze. Catastrophe. Anyway, next up is Popper187. This guy last competed all the way back in Tournament 9. We've not seen him since then. I believe he failed the Bridge of Blades back then. So, let's see how he uh, how he handles his return to Halo Ninja Warrior. First up is the Prism Tilt. He's up, slides down, and ooh, barely across. His feet touch the water there, but he's good to go. Now the X-Bridge. Friends, it's the second pallet. Oh, it's the six, and he doesn't get a jump off. Oh no! Popper is out on the second obstacle. As soon as I say the expert doesn't deal too much damage, two competitors fail it. Anyway, next up to go is our veteran Pandas for Life. In the last tournament, he got all the way to the last obstacle of the first stage and just the dot. So Pandas had one of the top performances in the last tournament. He and Buddy jumps. The closest to beating stage one, well, hit them and go tanks. Anyway, now he's onto this stage. It's mostly unchanged. He's handled the first obstacle and the second obstacle with no problem. Now for the pole maze, he's right into it. He bounces back a little, but he's good to go. Now he's pulling through the maze. He's looking good. All right, and he's onto the jump hang Kai. He jumps, and oh no, he comes up short. Pandas is out. He failed the jump hang Kai. He didn't get good enough of a bounce off the trampoline. He got the distance, he just didn't get high enough. And he bounced right into the ledge and meleeed it. Clearly not happy with that. Panda's way earlier than expected for him to fail. Oh, so close. Clearly a distraught crowd. Anyway, next up to go, we've got Fotocini. This guy has actually made uh, some of my favorite jump maps on Halo, and he's uh, he's finally taking on my course for the first time ever. Here at number 30, so let's see how he handles the stage. First up, the prism tilt. Jumps right up it, nice, and he's down, 
And he's across now for the X-Bridge. All right, he sprints to the second pallet. And hits the fourth, sixth, and dismounts. Yes, he's got it now for the pull maze. Sprint jumps. Oh, and beautifully done. He's right around the wall. Still got a minute left, a little over a minute. All right, now for the jump hang Kai. He sprints, he jumps, and he's into it. Yes, Photogenie is into it. I just gotta get through it. We saw someone fail last time. Oh, he fails it! He failed on the inside. That's the second competitor this tournament to do that. But that was even more weird. Ironbug did it in the last episode, and he kinda did it in the same spot. He got onto the first railing, jumped to the second railing, and then started sprinting, but forgot to jump, and he just ran right off. You can just see how close he was to finishing the obstacle, moving onto the brace ladder. But that sprint technique did not work in that situation. I think he was trying to sprint down onto the lower ledge and then jump across, but he just slipped right off the edge. Anyway, our next competitor to go. The crowd seems to be beating themselves up about this guy. Hell Jumper, 1357, a newcomer. Let's see how he handles the stage. Nice little recon thing going. 85 seconds on the clock. And we see a newcomer get to the second stage. We haven't seen that yet. He sprints to the first obstacle. Oh, he doesn't make it. He comes up short of the first obstacle. That's another competitor to do that. We saw that happen a few times with returning competitors in the last episode. But after that, we didn't have much more success. The third competitor was able to do this. We had someone get into the jump hang Kai. Kyle is beastly. He got in, but couldn't get through. Got shoved right out. And then after Kyle, we had returning competitor Sneak Killer 7 come back for his third appearance. Last time he failed the X-Bridge, this time he got one step further failing the pole maze. And then we had you done goofed return to Halo Ninja Warrior. Last time was tournament 12 when he failed the sex duple step, and he continued to streak of failing the first obstacle. So that is three more competitors down. And we will now be moving on to our 35th competitor, which is Pixel Projects. In the last tournament, this guy went out on the brace ladder of stage one, which is a huge shock because in the previous two tournaments before that, he had made it to the second stage, so. He set himself up as a good competitor, and then uh, went out on stage one, but so many people did last time anyway, so it's not too shocking that he failed, but anyway, he's moving right through the course right now. He's going for the pole maze, jumps, and he's into it, and dodges that first wall, goes right around it. Pixel is looking very good right now. Now for the jump hang Kai, we have not seen anyone beat this this episode. He jumps, and he's into it, yes. Pixel's into it, can he get through it? This is the part that matters, apparently, and he's through it onto the brace slider. This is where he failed last time. Can he do it? He sprints, he jumps, he catches the corner, and Pixel is through the brace slider onto the warp wall with 45 seconds left. Oh, he doesn't get up it in one. Come on, Pixel. 40 seconds, plenty of time if you get up it right here. He's up it. Now for the slider jump. This took out a couple good competitors in the past. We saw uh, Duster Buster 2K fail it last time. But he's climbing up it, no problem. He's still got 25 seconds left under the last obstacle. Can Pixel make it back to stage two? Oh, he slips. But he's good. He's climbing. Plenty of time for Pixel Projects. Is he going to do it? Yes, he has done it. Pixel Projects moving back to stage two for his third time. Pixel Projects was able to overcome the brace slider from the last tournament. And while he didn't get up the war to all in one, he still had so much time getting to that point. He was able to forward that warped wall failure. He handled the slider jump with no problem and climbed right up to the top. And with almost 15 seconds left, Pixel Projects will be moving on to the second stage. Very well done, Pixel Projects. First clear of this episode. But he was not alone. Immediately following Pixel Projects, we had returning veteran Killer to Man take a run at the course. On his seventh appearance, he was able to move through all the obstacles, overcome the slider jump that he failed last time, and climb up to the top with 15 and a half seconds left. So, Killer Demand has advanced himself to stage two as well. That's two people moving on already. Anyway, the third competitor, or the third competitor, the 37th competitor is Bradley Freakin. Doing his little intro there, a nice cliff dive. Bradley Freakin, not in his usual black and red outfit. He's, uh, he's all black today. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But anyway, this is his fifth attempt at Halo Ninja Warrior. He has never failed stage one since tournament nine. So Bradley's had a very long, well not very long, but he's had a good streak of stage one clears. He's one of only four people to clear stage one in the last tournament. So he is one of the top performers right here. 
this guy is not to be overlooked. He is a force to be reckoned with. And he's moving through the pole maze at top speed right now. He's onto the jump hang Kai. He jumps. And he's into it. Can he get through it, though? He's first railing, second railing. Sprints down, tried to do what, or did what Photoshini tried to do. But he was able to pull it off. Now for the brace sider. He hits the corner and dismounts nicely. Now for the warped wall. Can he get up it in one? Yes, he's up it in one. He's got so much time left. All he's got to do is handle the slider jump and not fail the last obstacle. He is climbing. He is on the ascent. Come on, Bradley. Get up it. There you go. He's up and on to the last obstacle. Rope climb with 26 seconds left. Plenty of time for Bradley. Oh, he slips just like Pixel did, but it doesn't matter. He's climbing. I think Bradley's going to do it again for his fourth time. And yes, Bradley freaking is on to stage two once again. His fourth tournament for him in a row, making it to the second stage. Very well done, Bradley Freakin. Always outstanding performances here. And after that, we had Avows the Samurai, who uh, came up short on the X-Bridge. He tried to... I don't even know what he was doing. He was jumping all over the place. And yeah, that's what happened. He came up short of the dismount anyway. But we're moving on to Exploding Piglets. This guy is also a newcomer. Uh, Bradley Freakin seems to want to redo his intro for this run. He jumps and uh, He shoots the ground. All right. That was, that was good, Bradley. Now uh, anyway, exploding piglets. He's onto the prism till he's up and he's out Well, that didn't last very long Well That's uh, that's what 39 competitors down and we have six people on to stage two so far But now you'll see if our next returning veteran can handle this course. Next up is another competitor who is making his 10th appearance. Saying the legend has competed in every tournament since Tournament 5 and has cleared the first stage three times. Two of those first stage clears were in the final two Xbox 360 tournaments, Tournaments 11 and 12, but he failed stage 2 both times. He competed in Tournament 13 as well, but shockingly went out early on the Jump Hang Kai, which was his earliest failure since his debut in Tournament 5, but today on his 10th Halo Ninja Warrior attempt, he aims to clear stage 1 for his fourth time. Sane the Legend on his 10th appearance. It's crazy to see how many competitors are competing so frequently now. It's actually really cool to see. Sane the Legend competing all the way since Tournament 5. He has been to Stage 3 in the past. He would love to get back there. But first off, he's got to defeat this first stage. We've seen Pixel, Killer Demand, and Bradley all clear today. Joining the other three from the last episode, Sane is into the pole maze. He is navigating through it. Still got well over a minute left. Now this next obstacle, the jump hang Kai. This is where Sane the Legend failed in the last tournament. Can he overcome it? He jumps, and he bounces, and he's into it. Now all he's got to do is get through it. Come on, Sane. He's climbing, and yes, yeah, Sane the Legend is through the jump hang Kai onto the brace ladder. Come on, Sane. Don't fail this obstacle. He goes for it. He jumps, and gets the corner, and he's off onto the warped wall. Come on, Sane. Get up in a one. Yes, he's up in a one. He's still got 32 seconds left. Plenty of time for Sane as long as he handles this obstacle. He goes and he lands it. Come on, Sane. Climb your way up. He's climbing. One more. Come on, Sane. He jumps forward. No! He doesn't get it. And he slides all the way back down. Sane the Legend is out on the slider jump. Sane the Legend. He got onto the slider jump and was climbing up. He looks so good. You would have thought that Sane would be able to handle that crouch jump. But he just aimed too high. He did what Killer Demand did in the last tournament. Aimed too high in that last step. And was unable to save it going down. And Sane the Legend is out on stage 1 again. It was really looking like we'd be able to see him on stage 2 this time. But it just wasn't to be. Anyway, our next competitor to go is returning veteran Snozberries. On his 8th appearance. Last tournament he failed the brace ladder. Same as Pixel Projects and Fireball. Pixel has cleared the stage. And Snaz do the same. He's been to the final stage before. So if there's a time for him to beat stage one, it's now so that we can we can see that he is still one of the top competitors here. He handled the first obstacle well. X Bridge kind of has the second pile there, but he's good. All right, now for the pole maze. He lines himself up and he's right into it. Nice. Okay, finding his way through. All right, looking good. And dismounts it. Now for the jump hang Kai. 
He did this last turn, but can he do it again? Yes, he's into it. Now all he's gotta do is hop through this. Gets the first one over the second one, and he sprint jumps off. Now the brace ladder. This is where he failed last time. Can Saint or can Snozberries do it? He jumps. And he's got it. Yes. He's through under the warp wall with 38 seconds left. Come on, Snoz. Get up in a one here. Oh, he's not up in a one. Okay. Still got another attempt. Still got plenty of time left. He's not up in a two. Come on, Snoz. You gotta get up it right now. You're down to less than 30 seconds. He's up in a three. Come on, Snoz. Move. He's under the slider jump. He goes for it. And he's stuck the first landing. He's still only got 20 seconds left. This is gonna be close. Come on, Snoz. He tries to jump up. Oh, okay. Good save there. He lands on it. All right. He's onto the rope climb. Oh, he missed the jump. Come on. Get up it, Snoz. Go. He's on the last obstacle. The clacks and the sounding is gonna be really close. Still got five seconds left. Come on, Snoz. No, he slips again. Come on, Snoz. Yes, he's done it with one hundredth of a second left. Snozberries has cleared the first stage. That was way too close. He overcame the brace ladder that he failed last time. But he failed the ward to wall twice. That cost him plenty of time. I can't believe he was able to pull through after all that. He got to the last obstacle. He even slipped up once on the last obstacle. But he flew through at the end there and hit the buzzer with only one hundredth of a second left. That is the slowest ever clear time we've ever had. But it doesn't matter because Snozberries will finally be moving on back to the second stage. Incredibly done, Snozberries. That was a huge shocking moment. But it was followed up by another shocking player. We had returning competitor Z Master who failed the jump hang Kai last tournament. He didn't do it this time. He handled the obstacle very well, actually. He flew right through it. And then was able to go all the way to the last obstacle. He didn't get up the water wall in one. It might have cost him some time, but it didn't matter because he still was able to clear with 3.26 seconds left. Joining Snozberries, who just cleared right before him. But then we had newcomer the 13th Promise, who uh, wasn't very promising here as he failed the pole maze. But anyway, that's incredible to see Snozberries and Z Master both moving on to the second stage with the two slowest times so far. But next up to go is Patty Freakin. Formerly known as SX Illusion, who failed the Jump Henkai. The first person to ever fail inside the Jump Henkai, which he did in the last tournament. Now he's on to Tournament 14's first stage. First up is the Prism Tail. He's up it, and he's over it, and he's across. Now for the X-Bridge. Alright, he handles the X-Bridge, no problem. Now the Pole Maze. He did all these obstacles last time. Alright, he's navigating his way through. Now for the jump hang high. This is where he fell last time. He goes for it. He jumps. And he's hanged. He's into it. He's hanged. Is that it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Anyway, he's through the jump hang high. Now for the brace slider. Can he handle this? He jumps. Catches the corner. Everyone seems to be using that corner technique now. Yeah, just wait for turn 15, guys. Anyway, he's not at the wall on one. No, nope, he's shooting at it now. That's not gonna help. Come on, Patty. Get up in two. Yes, he's up in two. Now for the last two obstacles. He's still got 30 seconds left. Plenty of time for Patty. As long as he doesn't. Oh, he makes a mistake. Oh, but he corrects it nicely. He pulls a spiteful. Next sprint jumps up. Oh, he does the same technique as Snaz there. Nicely done. He's through the slider jump. He's under the last obstacle with 16 seconds left. Should be enough time. He's climbing up. Can Patty clear stage one? Another person making it to stage two for their first time. Very well done, Patty Freakin, the friend of Bradley Freakin. Finally, well, on his second appearance, one of our few only Xbox One competitors to reach the second stage. But anyway, our next competitor is really looking for revenge. Our next competitor to go is determined to make up for his last performance. Gotenks proved to be one of the best competitors on this course in his first five appearances when he made it to the third stage four times and the final stage twice. He is still one of the top contenders for becoming an Xbox One All-Star, but his Xbox One career did not start off on a high note. While only four did clear stage one last time, Gotenks was the closest to being the fifth, but he timed out mere seconds away from the buzzer. That's the only time he's failed stage one since his debut in Tournament 8, so let's see if he can correct his failure from last time and advance to stage two once again. There he is in all his blue and yellow. Go Tanks. On his seventh appearance, he goes for stage one. Oh, what's this? Oh, he almost came up short there. 
Wow, I didn't think he was going to be able to save that. That would have been way too early for Gotenks to go out. Jeez. Oh, what a recovery from Gotenks. Anyway, he's through the X bridge now. And for the pole maze, he's up it. Okay. He, uh, he's got to be worried about the clock this time because that's what took him out last time. 60 seconds. The jump hang cat. He jumps. And he's into it. Now he's got to climb through it. First jump. There's the jump over him, and he's through it. Now for the brace slider. Come on, Gotenks. You can do this. We did it last time. He jumps. It's the brace, and dismounts nicely under the work wall. Come on, Gotenks. Do not let this fumble you now. Get up in a one. Come on. He's not up in two. Come on, Gotenks. Get up the wall, please. You gotta beat this stage. Come on. He's not up in three. Gotenks, get up the wall. He's not up in four. This is a catastrophe for Gotenks. He's up in five, but he's only got 16 seconds left. It's not going to be enough time. He's onto the slider jump. And now he's down to 10 seconds. Is it going to be a repeat of last time? Oh, Gotenks is onto the last obstacle with only three seconds left. He's not going to be able to climb to the top. Gotenks once again is out of time on the first stage of the second tournament in a row. Our veteran, who's been to the final stage two tournaments in a row, got choked up here at the warped wall. He just couldn't get up it fast enough, and we got onto the last obstacle. There was no recovery in sight. He was so low on time, there's no way he could have climbed to the top fast enough. And for the second tournament in a row, he's timed out on stage one. It's so shocking to see Gotenks fail stage one once again. We know he can get back to the final stage and possibly become a grand champion, but it won't be this tournament. Now we gotta place our hopes in our regular weapon mat who fed the jump hang Kai last tournament. But he is uh he's definitely put his practice in this tournament. He's number 46 because of how well he did in the tournament 14 trials. So let's see how he handles this stage. He's through the prism tilt, no problem. Now for the X bridge. Alright, now he's onto the warped wall. Can he get up in one? Yes, he's up in one. 40 seconds left onto the slider jump. All right, he gets the landing, his little save jump right there, and he's climbing. He's looking very good right now. He's through it, onto the rope climb with tons of time left right now. Oh, he slips. A lot of people are slipping down that first one, but he's climbing up. And Weapon Matt hits the buzzer at the end of stage one and advances himself to stage two, just like Patty freaking fell the jump hang guy last tournament, but advances this time with 19.31 seconds. That's the fastest time yet. But it was followed up by an even faster time. We had DAC Fireball return for his third appearance. He made it to stage three in the past, failed the brace slider last tournament, didn't do it this tournament, and on the slider jump, he decided to go under. Did just like Buddy Jumps did it last tournament. He slid under, almost came up short of the dismount though. Very close call on that ledge right there. But Fireball was still able to hit the buzzer with 21.6 seconds left. And then immediately following that was an even faster time, 25.93 seconds from Alpha Puma. Clearing stage one once again. No problem for this guy. Hit the buzz at the end of stage one with the fastest time so far, and he'll be moving on to stage two. Beat stage one last time, so it's not really a surprise. But anyway, we currently have 12 people moving on to the second stage. Could our next two competitors break that record? Our next competitor is Um Double Um who impressed us all last tournament. After five consecutive first stage failures, Um came into tournament 13 with very low expectations, but he blew us all away as he was only one of four competitors to clear the first stage. He was then able to clear the second stage as well and finished with the second best result, failing the crazy cliffhanger. Ump has always been regarded as a great jumper for his results on Spartan Warrior and Ninja Warrior of Halo, but finally in the last tournament he was able to shine on Halo Ninja Warrior, so today we will see if his last performance was a fluke or if he really does have something to bring to this course. Ump making, <laughs> um making it to stage 3 in the last tournament was a huge moment. It was uh, one of the most unpredicted runs in the entire tournament. And he's through the prism tilt, no problem. Now for the X bridge, he cleared every single obstacle from this point on last time. So let's see if he can do it again. One of the four to clear the first stage. We already have 12 people on the second stage. Which means if Ump clears right now, he will set the record for the most ever stage 1 clears in a tournament. Right now he's heading through the pole maze. Still got a minute left. He goes to the jump hang Kai. He jumps and he's into it. 
Ump is looking good right now. Very solid. Ooh, almost came up short of that ledge right there. Almost put a put a chini or an iron bug or whatever you want to call it now. He goes for this brace slider. Hits the left corner. And he's through onto the warped wall. Can he get up in one? He's still got 40 seconds left. He's up in at one. Up double Ump is looking very good right now. If he can do the slider jump. Is he going to do the same thing as last time? He goes for it. Yes, he's got it. Just like last time. Goes right under. Saves him a lot of time. Now for the rope climb. He doesn't slip down one. He's climbing right up. And Ump Double Ump is going to be the 13th clear of the tournament. And he sets the record for the most ever stage one clears in a single tournament. And advances to stage two with 18.77 seconds left. Very well done, Ump Double Ump. That's two tournaments in a row on the second stage. Amazing from Ump. Very well done. We have now set a record for stage one clears in a tournament. But the record could go further and possibly have a 14th stage one clear. The final competitor to go on stage one is making his 14th appearance and is aiming for his 14th straight first stage clear. Hunting Unit 751 has been in every single Halo Ninja Warrior tournament and has never failed the first stage. And for this reason, he became an all-star of the Xbox 360. Now on the Xbox One, Hunter is trying to reclaim his position as an all-star and possibly become the only Xbox 360 all-star to achieve the rank of all-star on the Xbox One. Hunter set off onto that path very well with his performance last tournament when he finished with the best run of the entire tournament failing the hang climb on the third stage. With all of Hunter's success on this course, let's see if he can increase his incredible streak of first stage clears. Hunter, even though he's never gotten total victory, even though he's only been to the final stage once, he is still probably seen as one of the most successful competitors on this course, solely for his streak of stage one clears. 13 in a row already, shooting for 14, and he's made it stage three 10 times, which is incredible. Now he's off on stage one, 85 seconds. He's gonna take the low route right there. All right, he handled this stage last time. Surely Hunter will not fail it. This will not be the tournament that he fails stage one for the first time. We've got 13 people moving on already. Oh, he falls out of the pole maze. What is that? Hunter, that was a very interesting. We've never seen that before. Wouldn't have expected that from Hunter. Looked like he got bumped out and just fell right back down to the beginning of the pole maze. Now for the jump hang Kai. He jumps and he hangs. He's into it. Can he get through it? Yes, he's through it. And he's through the jump hang Kai onto the brace slider. He did this obstacle last time. Can he do it again? He sprints, he jumps, and oh, he almost came up short, but he made it. Wow. His back foot was hanging off there. That was incredibly close. But he's under the warped wall. Now he's not up in one, but he's up in two. The warped wall really kind of screwed him up last time, but not this time. He's up in two, and he's still got 23 seconds. It's actually not a lot of time, so Hunter needs to really focus on this obstacle, but he's through it. All right, he's surely got enough time to do this last obstacle. He misses the jump. Just like Snaz did. Now he's under the rope climb with 10 seconds left. Is Hunter going to do it? The clock's is sounding, but I don't think it matters because Hunter is through the first stage for the 14th tournament in a row. And not only is it the 14th tournament in a row, it's the 14th clear in a row. He almost came up short at the brace slider, but was able to power right through it. He missed the warped wall once, but not as bad as his time last time when he failed it three times. But he was still able to climb to the top and hit the buzzer. And for his 14th time in a row, advancing to stage two and even furthering the record of stage one clears. Amazingly done, Hunter Unit 751. Once again, we'll be seeing you on the second stage. Yeah, that's right. Do your intro at the end platform because you can do that. Very well done, Hunter. Well, amazingly, in this episode alone, 11 competitors were able to clear. That is the most competitors clearing we've ever had in a single episode, so very well done to everyone competing today. Well, 14 tournaments in, and we have finally set a new record for Stage 1 clears, breaking the record set all the way back in Tournament 5. With an incredible 14 competitors moving on to Stage 2, this tournament is going much better than the last one, and we have even more hope to see someone reach the final stage. Going on to the second stage is so... Z Master, Eurorath, Honey Unit 751, and we've got Patty Freakin, Ice Spiteful, Pixel Projects, Kill the Man, Bradley Freakin, and then Ump Double Lump, Exhilaration, Weapon Mat, DHG Fireball, and Alpha Puma with the fastest time. In the next episode, they'll take on the second stage, which has been modified since the last tournament, 
We will have an old obstacle return as well as a new, more simple yet deadly version of the Salmon Ladder, and we will be seeing five competitors attempt the second stage for the first time. But for now, we are done with episode 2 and the first stage. Make sure you come back next time when we will see who will advance to the deadly third stage and possibly have a shot at the final stage. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like and a comment and subscribe. And remember that if you want to do a run in future tournaments, send a message to Smoky Massacre on Xbox Live. But anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time on Halo Ninja Warrior.